<laughs> with integrity. It's polygamy. It's integrity, integrity polygamy. Yeah, nah. It, but you gotta think about it. So, like, if you think if you go back, right, in the nineties, eighties, even early two thousands, you were automatically considered monogamous. Yeah. That's why to go back to your question, it's like if I went on, and I remember I said this to somebody. I said, "Well, yeah, I cheated on you, but I never disclosed that I was monogamous." She was like, well, how does that, you really did when you decided to commit to me. I said, yeah, but that does not mean that I was only going to commit to you. I am now understanding that I've had mad women my whole life. I cannot just boil down to just one. I know I can't because my mind is going to wander and my urges are going to gain and it's going to get stronger and stronger and stronger until I step out. Now, I do feel that, you know, nowadays it is a more so of an awareness-based thing. We, are, we have a lot of people who are poly in different mm -hmm. ways, shapes, and forms. So now you need to disclose that because before, like I said, it's like it was assumed you were monogamous. Yeah. Even to the girls, I assumed she was, a mono she was monogamous. But she's out here doing her thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's the part I think that is breaking people up is the expectations that were already set for us before we decided to have a conversation about it. You know what I'm saying? I expect you to be monogamous. Therefore, when you are and you demonstrate non-monogamous things, it breaks my heart because I believed that you were. But I never had a conversation and I never actually had you be transparent and tell me what you desire, what you like, who you are. And sometimes with that So what was you doing in all that dating? dating? But, but, but I'm just saying, will but we like, tell them and be honest? Because most men go and lie because they scared. Well, to I mean, the, the, the delusional intent. Uh, like no, this. Yeah. the sky's intent. The sky's I mean, intent. I mean, it's it's different now. I think older men, yeah, but not younger. Like the 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 kids nowadays are growing up with this. See, and I I kind of see it both sides, it's right? Like an agenda. Yeah the, yeah, the 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 older men. I don't say older. The more mature, let's just say, men. Um, they came up in an era where monogamy was a, a demand and a standard. Good Nowadays, sir. these kids that are 18, 19, in the last 10 years, you know, people have just been sleeping with whoever. So they're probably more prone to being open-minded towards that versus the other. Like when me and my girl started dating, before I ever said, yo, we're going to get into a committed relationship, I told her, I want two wives. If you are not subscribing to that, if you can't do it, then we won't work. Point blank, period. Yeah. Point blank period. And, and she was like, well, you know, I, she said, all right, cool. But then when she got pregnant, obviously that, that delayed a lot of things. But even talking to some people that are in the poly community, because our goal was to wait till my daughter is two years old before we start seeking and vetting our second partner. Yeah. And I was told that the earlier would be the better way to do it. So, you know, but I'm learning too, because this is the first time in the world that you can actually be open and Polly, live your truth. Yeah, and live your truth in America, let's just say, <laughs> because it's been happening forever. <laughs> With your ears to the streets and everything that we're experiencing and hearing, verse, when it comes to monogamy versus uh, poly, who's more socially accepting, the men or the women? It's the man. The man, of course, uh, men with multiple women makes sense. The women are engaged with each other, everything. And then when it's a woman that has multiple men, you know, you get the slut shaming, you get the beta male concept, you get so much pressure on them. You know, it's just like, what, what's really going on? And is it happening? Yeah, you have families out there that it is a woman with multiple men. There's a woman I know, shout out Passion Jones. She's pregnant by, you know, the man that they brought in, you know, but they're all engaged with each other. Yeah. yeah wow, that's Yeah, wild. and then, you know, Kenya, they got something going is she on. she a breadwinner? Uh, yeah, I do. I don't know too much about Makes sense. that. Yeah. But I mean, there's a whole new show coming out about that. Now. Huh? Is that the one from Atlanta? They got no, the no. four dudes. One, I know one that that's in Houston. She has two husbands, and they they be moving in. But Pasha, she from she from New York. Okay, I yeah. know. I Makes met sense. a girl in Atlanta that had like four or five dudes. Yeah, and it, it's and hard for and it's Atlanta. hard for them, right? Because at the end of the day, you know, a lot of people don't want to accept that fact. So the men get 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 um slander for being betas or being weak. And you know, she maneuvers in her own space however they need to. And of course, the woman gets slut shamed because she's open to the idea of what that looks like. And it's not only women that just hold those spaces for them, because them, they're a triad. They're actually in a closed relationship where it's just them. There's other women that move in spaces that have a husband at home, but open the relationship and have a man partner outside of that. Me. You know, so it's just, it's different. <laughs> and, and in those spaces, it's hard for those women to actually really grow too in those situations. 
But at the end of the day, the relationship should always just be consensual and ethical and agreed upon of what we're maneuvering in. But a lot of people, it's hard to accept that. At the end of the day, we're happy in our own space because people love to judge. Guilt, shame. Guilt, shame, and of course, the legal process. You know what the crazy like. thing is? I, I, I'm going I'm to... I'm gonna. I agree with Essa before, but I'm gonna do a contradictful thing, and I'm gonna say I don't believe women. Most women have the mental. I mean, the emotional capacity to take on two men. Please don't talk about what women. Can Wait, talk about. We, oh, we knew that. Oh, we knew that. Agree with you. I'm saying, but I'm saying, I'm saying, no, no. I'm saying I'm contradicting because you said a man. No, Marie was gonna get on you. A woman can't tell what a man can take on, and man can't tell what a woman. And I agree, but I don't think women can take on more than one man. But guess what, Rico? I agree with you as well. But guess what? Mario <laughs> is making my point. Yeah. That's as soon as yeah. you start saying women, no. he's like, no, no, no. Yeah. Yes. He that can sit true. over there and say, say no, 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 no. no. <laughs> he just made my point. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a book for record. I appreciate you, you bro. There. First of all, you're not going to say that don't speak for men and then turn around and speak for women. Why well, do you do it? Yeah. He announced it. He announced the woman, the woman with no camera on it speaks for men all the but time and she's a, a mic, woman. So. And she's mad because now she can't. And Rico's speaking for a woman now. <laughs> <laughs> and, now and now she can't say nothing. Okay, actually, sorry. I'm not even going to disagree sorry. with Rico. Sorry, sorry. You're not going to disagree with me? I actually don't disagree I appreciate with it because... She can't because I got to make her shit right. <laughs> <laughs> I got two college degrees. I'm quitting here. <laughs> this is easy. This is all but but in the real but in the real sense, right? Most men, I know me, right? I require a lot of energy. You know what I'm saying? And because I require a lot of energy, I don't think like a girl, most girls could really deal with all of me. Now, if I gave them part of me, like the ones that have a man, and now she's stepping out and messing with me, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause she's not getting, she's not doing. She's only, she's texting me once a week. Like I only have like our our communication and the amount of what my requirements to her are very very minimal. So she can probably balance. But if we were going to be committed, bro, it's gonna be very hard to do it. It's gonna be too many mental games. It's, it's gonna be too many mental aerobics with her. Like stop playing with me. <laughs> she might have said. Like, like how you gonna deal yeah, with she, this? She, 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 same, same time. time. I'm gonna show you you can't do that. <laughs> This is, so you're dealing with but, two or three women. Wait, let me just say this. Dealing oh, with two or three women. Dealing with two or three women at one time is not an easy thing. Yeah. People saying it like everybody can do it. No, you can't do it and do it effectively. You know what I'm saying? To do it effectively and please two, three, four women and have them even front like you're the only guy that, that they're with is an art to it. So if people just sit up here saying like, you got to you, you have a couple dollars, you got to be piping, you got to be available, you got you. It's a lot of things that you got to be able to do, and there's a lot of dudes out here that they can't do. You got to be able to gaslight. Ain't no gaslight. You got to be smart. You got to. You got to fuck with their head a little bit. No, you ain't got to. You got to. You got to make them sit down. No, you ain't got. If we keeping it real. Before we switch this topic, Alex, can you touch on this? Because this is very interesting for the audience. There's already a shortage of good men. Yeah. Most women, fifty percent of women are single. Yeah. So if there's already a shortage of good men. How y'all gonna get two when y'all can't even get one? Yeah, facts. So I'm just asking. It's the same way, like Heineken said. If you got forty, if you got forty women, you got four guys to get ten women, right? Then the other thirty six don't have none. So there are some women that are popping, and they can get two and three dudes. They might have swag. They might have sex drive. They might have the ability to to financially. It's a it's it's a couple of ways. But but that test market is small. But and that and that's why most women are actually open to the idea of non monogamy because again, like I said, these men are. Actually Actually taking the time to study themselves. It's not just about finance, you know, uh, being financially stable. It's also showing up about how this man is able to show up in their life and give them understanding, give them patience, give them whatever they need emotionally to as well. Be um, present that partnership. There's situations the relations only fall into two things: transactional or partnership. And in non-monogamy, when a man understands himself and is financially um, stable and he's able to show up with that partnership, most women are open to that. So that's why, at the end of the day, why do you think a woman picks a a, a married a married man, and she don't mind being the side piece? I don't know about that. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> I just say, at the end of the day, you know what I mean? She knows he's a husband. He knows how to be a husband. He knows how to show up. He's a committed course, dude. He's a committed dude. He knows how to do it. And then also on top of that, he gonna he gonna splurge. He gonna splurge. He gonna splurge. He I know married, dudes. He that, splurge. Yeah, yeah, he got a splurge, he right? Got to, he he got, and she don't position. mind that because she getting everything that she needs. So now let's take away the deceit. Let's take away the betrayal and let's bring in the understanding. 
why ain't women going to be open to it? You know what I mean? At the end of the day, and that's why you're seeing the opening, the transition from people going from monogamy to non-monogamy because they understand they get that instead of people moving in disguise intent. But here's the thing. So, so what Alan was saying, too, is that there's already a shortage of good men, right? There's already a shortage. And, and it took me and Esso two hours of an argument for me to even understand that because I thought everybody was a king. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> there's a lot of lanes. No, no, right? like, there's a lot of lanes. Yeah, 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 like, I'm like, yeah, I'm like yo, when, when the, the, the analogy was brought, it was like, think about all of history. How many kings were there and then how many other men were there? There you go. Okay, right. cool. So there's a shortage of real kings out here. So now what happens is because there's a shortage of real kings out here, these women that are now seeing kings who are committed monogamously, right? And they're like, all right, those kings typically are not monogamous, right? right? So now they're like, okay, cool. I'm all right with being the side chick because, you know what I mean? I want a king too. But the crazy thing mm. about me is like, uh, the craziest thing about it is like, well, let's bring in the understanding. The understanding is that the 30% or 20% of good men that are really out here deserve more than one woman. 